Here we are in uh, Iran. We're in the desert, uh, absolutely in the middle of the desert. I feel like I'm in uh, Palm Springs type of desert or the uh, Death Valley. It's beautiful, uh, except it's, 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 it's arid and severe, except for the little oasis um, by the river. And uh, that's what we're doing. You can see in the background is a tiny little... Uh, bridge which they've created uh, it's hard to believe anything holds up uh, anything stands up to that but it does and uh, that's what we got here simplicity but very happy friendly folks All right, today in front of you is Bonnie from San Francisco who does research, uh, financial research. But when she's not doing that, she's on the rivers all around the world. I can attest to her skill as a, a great uh, front, front uh, paddler. She's got a great stroke, very strong and very quick. In fact, we try to keep up with her. It's not easy. What do you think of this river? Pretty, pretty nice. Huh? Beautiful, beautiful views. Nice light water. Um, can't wait for tomorrow, though. Should be oh, yeah. uh, more fun. Yeah, e even more, right? That's right. Today was class two and a half and three and a half, and tomorrow will be a little bit, a little bit more. Bonnie, thanks a lot. Sure. Okay, and here we have the better half of, uh, of the Roger and Joanne <laughs> team. And uh, here she is on the river today, um, doing a great job. Uh, they have a tight, tight team. They're, um, they should be getting ready for the big stuff. Oh my. Um, are you having fun or what? We're having fun. They are having fun. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's been a great, uh, been a great time here, hasn't it, here in Beautiful. Iran? Yeah, we have a really fun little boat for all girls. And we're all wearing our cute little... I know, it looks like camp. You guys are like singing songs and clapping your hands. And... Yeah, our guide doesn't speak much English. We don't speak any Farsi, but we're making it work. <laughs> it's good. Well, you're definitely making a, a fun trip out of this one. Um, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> In front of us, Christine, another member of our illustrious uh, rafting party, uh, doing the first western uh, descent of a number of Iranian rivers. How the hell did you find yourself in Iran, Christine? <laughs> well, I blame my friends. It was, it was Jen. <laughs> I met a couple of them. Who invited me, and, and I blame her completely. She said, you want to come to Iran? And I was like, no. <laughs> And then I looked into it, so it looked interesting, and I don't think I'll ever come here any other time, so I said, sure. Um, and it's been an adventure. Is there anything you want to tell your mom? I'm okay. <laughs> don't worry. You hear that, mom? She's okay. <laughs> She's smiling. It's all good. Uh, and I 
big section of class four. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, oh yeah. Nice job. Now it's our turn. Nice job. Right in front of us is yet another member of our illustrious rafting team here in Iran. This is Brenda from Tiburon, California. And uh, this is a one all around gal. She does it all. <laughs> what other things do you do besides rafting and collecting plants? And uh, exactly, there we go. Tell us some of the things that uh, you particularly love to do. Oh, pretty much everything. I yeah. bike, kayak, I used to, um, I like to windsurf, uh, I row, I used to uh, paraglide, um, As travel, I... love traveling, exploring. You've heard of a Renaissance man? Well, this is the Renaissance woman. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, yeah, she's I... got a great place up in Canada, and uh, I think uh, everybody's invited, right? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> it's right on a river. I've got kayaks and everything. And um, yeah, and so since I retired, talk about Renaissance, I've also taken up studying Arabic. Oh my goodness. And my French is pretty good. And saxophone. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. I, I can't I keep just, up with I can't keep up with you. <laughs> I just love life. Yes, you do. And uh, it, it likes you too, no question about it. Does. It does. <laughs> I think it goes both ways. I think so. Yeah. It's a love affair, both yes. ways. Well, thank you. Thank well, you, and it's welcome. great meeting you. And uh, seeing all the uh, items that uh, you uh, get involved with, it's just great. <laughs> Here he comes. Here they both come. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got a touchdown. He flipped over, he's trying to get back up. Back up. There you go. Oh, oh, bad time to do this. Oh, ow. Oh, ouch. Pretty tough, pretty tough. We are in the Mon River, rafting the upper section, uh, class three, four. He's like, nope. And nope, uh, we are having a great day today because it is sunny, it's crystal clear, and we've been all drinking. I'm talking about drinking water, of course, but uh, it's been a great, great day of uh, rafting, and we're looking forward to more of it. What do you think, people? Oh! Hey! hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
In front of us is Eileen, one of the other members of our team of rafters from America here in Iran. She happens to be a chiropractor uh, from uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, long term, long standing chiropractor there. Um, but uh, and when she's not chiropracting, she is rafting, and she has been rafting all over the world. Give us a couple places that uh, that you've been previously. Chile, Alaska, Turkey, Africa, Grand Canyon, um, Indonesia, other places. Uh, it's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good tally right there. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Um, what is it about rafting that, uh, that makes you uh, travel and uh, decide to jump into a, a river raft and uh, go down the river? I think I have an adrenaline gene. <laughs> and it's a way to see the most beautiful part of the country. The prettiest part of any country is along the rivers. It sure is. And what do you think of Iran so far? Very clean. Very clean. Uh, people are very friendly. Extremely. Uh, uh, I like the way they have maintained their uh, ancient sites and mosques. Oh, I, I think I think there's some ladies here who want to meet you. <laughs> United States. America. 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 Yes. Salome. Salome. Are you from here? Beautiful. Beautiful country. We've enjoyed our visit. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie from Winter Park, Colorado. She is one well-versed lady in just about every outdoor sport there is. She also happens to be my uh, partner for the two-man kayak. She, uh, she is involved in things like uh, taking care of impaired and uh, uh, blind um, athletes. Um, whether things like skiing and climbing, a variety of different sports. Uh, she's been doing this for years. She's been a ski instructor. I mean, she does everything. And uh, she's doing a great job here um, in Iran. I, my big question for you is, why Iran? It's a different part of the world. Different culture. That's for sure. Fascinating. Different architecture. Beautiful. Yeah. And the rivers in Iran. Pretty pretty fascinating place, isn't it? Well, you know, it's been a hell of a lot of fun getting to know you, and um, you know, participate. Yeah, it's been terrific, and uh, we've still got uh, about three, four more days to go. So uh, uh, exactly, exactly. I look forward to it. Me too. Okay, I know you've all been waiting for this, but this is Mr. Kayak, Mr. Raft. If it has to do with water and a boat, this is the guy. This guy started mountain travel, well actually not mountain travel, started Sobek along with, uh, along with his, a partner. And um, he's continued uh, 50 years later to, uh, to remain active and integral in the uh, sport of uh, rafting. That this guy's actually rafted 50 first descents around the world that's that's just an extraordinary benchmark um in this particular case he happens to be our guide and organizer this is john yost in front of you um it's been a hell of a trip john uh it has it's, a lot of surprises oh my goodness <laughs> both good and bad of course but uh, i i think the good surprises definitely outweigh the bad surprises so i think you've done a fabulous job in uh, I, I would say, first of all, advocating for those of us who raft. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that's been really big. Uh, it, it, what do you think? This is the first time in Iran, and uh, your thoughts? Well, uh, I came here with uh, almost no expectations because you just can't get information on what's been happening on the rivers here and what you find online. Well, I've typed up, printed all that out, and we've proven that most of it was unreliable during our days here. <laughs> and uh, far more linguistic challenges than we usually encounter anywhere in the world. Yeah, Farsi is, seems to be a challenge uh, for, for all of us, I think. Yes. Um, the scenery is amazing, the people are friendly, the food is wonderful, the, the, the rafting was just fun, just yes. a lot yeah, of fun. Exactly, fun, fun, challenging enough so you can't fall asleep, and so right. you're wet most of the time. That's right, <laughs> so that's fun, right. But fun, not... All I can say is this is number 51, the first descent by a we any Western <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> country. Western group down, down the Armand, yes. Well, congratulations well, again. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Of Farsi. Yeah. Basically, you're saying what? Hey, much Akram. Hey, Lihu. Hey, Lihu. Hey, Lihu. Hey, Lihu. Hey, much Akram. So I'm trying to say very, and very is a really hard word. I can't quite really. If I get the gutter, it's hey, hey. I know, I know, sure, I know, sure, about three or four octaves below what you normally talk.